yeah, well, I'm not promoting a racist ideology. On Earth. That's really racist, but it doesn't even make sense. White people aren't a force of nature, they are people. They are rational, they make decisions. They're not just dogs. I mean, we would never describe black people committing crimes in America as a force of nature. Because that is to remove any responsibility for their own actions. And it's ludicrous that you would sit there and go, well, white people are the most destructive force of nature. White people are the most liberating force of nature, if that's the case. Do you, are you actually serious? I mean, like, do you know what annoys me the most about all of this, like, anti-colonialist hysteria, right? The thing that annoys me the most is that the world was a fucking shithole before the colonial era. It wasn't good in Europe, either. It was shit in Europe. It was oppressive, it was backwards, it was poor, it was hungry. Literally applies to everywhere. Everywhere was being exploited by a ruling elite. There were wars, there were famines, there were crusades, jihads. They, literally, the world was fucking terrible. And these idiots would have you believe that the world was just beautiful. It's like Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden until the white man turned up. No, get fucked. I have absolutely no respect for this. In a letter sent to parents, the school's principal, Rene Johnson, writes, Montgomery Blair is a very smart, diverse, and inclusive community, and we will not fall victim to attempts to divide us by accepting white people. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Literally, diversity means less white people. That's actually what you mean when you say diversity. And I don't like that that's the case. It sounds like, you know, rabid alt-right propaganda, but holy shit, it's fucking true. You people hate white people, and you know it. And for example, you can find evidence of this on, say, a popular blog called Pal Very well received is the best way to describe it, I think. And no one would consider Britain First to be a reputable political organisation. And so I never bothered looking into them. I don't know what their beliefs were. I didn't know anything about their history or their organisation or anything like that. And so I had to go to their Facebook page and actually have a look and watch a bunch of their media and see what I could find out about them. And honestly, as far as I can tell, they have two things that they want. They want to get rid of Islam from the UK and they want to stop all immigration. That's all I can find from any of their sort of policies or principles that they operate from. They don't like Islam. Okay. They don't like immigrants. Okay. Does this make them fascists? Well, not really. I mean, I can't find any economic information about them. I can't find any, like, social policy beyond ban Islam. Uh, I can't... I, I don't think they have many plans for any of these things. They seem to be just an activist group for these two issues. 